Howdy folks, also known as hey everybody in Texan. Um, I got a couple of things here from St. Matthew's Church. They're becoming the new, um, new Peter Popoff. So I thought I would open them here. In front. Well, this is the only one not open, so not open. But it's this envelope. I haven't opened it yet. It says back here, you have this divine promise from God. It doesn't say it like that, but it should, because it's more fun that way. Uh, let's see. Open up, open up, open up. They haven't so far come out and asked for money the way Popoff does, but they do everything else exactly the way he does, so as far as I'm concerned, they're the same thing. Okay, um, this seems to be my goodie right here. It's a purple piece of paper. Maybe it's a magical holy piece of paper. And then there's a thing here. Another little envelope within the envelope that says, May your problems start disappearing like the early morning fog in the sunlight of the dawning of a new day. Wow, I'm inspired by that. Dear Jesus, you see the needs I'm checking for prayer on this prayer request sheet. That's what's inside here, apparently, a prayer request sheet. Spoiler alert, everybody. And I am mailing it back to the church in your holy name. Amen. And then, you see, it says, Dear Jesus, in this crazy font. Kind of a cool font, actually. I like it. And then it's got Amen in crazy font as well. So, that's good. There we go. Back in focus, because I don't have a video camera. I'm using a DSLR here. Oh, I was going to open that. I was going to open this. Still takes pretty decent video. It just doesn't have the bells and whistles that a video camera would have. I don't take hardcore videos, though. So, not too worried. Let's see what's inside here. Jesus is walking past your window. And it's got all this gobbledygook on it. Dear Lord, as you see, it is after sunset now, on the day after I placed my answer letter, comma, in the mail, guide it, in the mail, oh, dot, period, guide it, Lord, back to this ministry so I can receive all of your blessings by faith. Amen. Here's a bunch of stuff in all caps. There is enough power in this to make your enemies tremble. Well, that's not very Christian. Enemies? I guess a lot of Christians talk about Satan as their enemy, but uh, still. Lighten up, guys. Uh, let's see. Our Heavenly Father is calling out your name in the Spirit. And they underline in purple your name in the Spirit. And here are just a few things he is saying to you. He is saying to you is also underlined in purple. Listen with your spirit. How do I do that? Is it kind of like listening with my ears? Is it exactly the same as listening with my ears? I think what they mean is listen with your ears and believe everything it says. Uh, and it's got a list here. Let's see. Number one, good shall come unto thee. Number two, be ye kind one to another. Uh, it, it's, it has um, Bible passages on here, but I'm sure they're not listing the entire passage. I don't really want to take the time to look it up right now, because I'm doing something at the moment. I'm making a video right now. But um, I think we can probably assume that all of these passages are more than just one sentence. Especially, be ye kind to one another, or to another. Uh, there's probably more to the quote than that, as long as that person worships Yahweh. Uh, number three, he shall sustain thee. Number four, blessed are the pure in heart. Uh, number five, thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Six, let there be no strife. Blah, blah, 
blah, blah. Our Heavenly at the bottom. There are 29 of these. I don't really feel like reading them all because I don't want to make a 30 minute long video here. At the end, oh, my cup runneth over, number 29. And then it says, Our Heavenly Father is saying these comments to you. Oh, but if I don't read them all, he's not saying them to me, is he? Let's see. What else do we have here? We've got, um, oh, we've got a business reply mail for St. Matthew's churches. Apparently it's a whole chain of churches. It's the McDonald's of churches. Uh, Jesus still makes house call. He still makes house call. He just makes the one, because more than that is too much to ask. There is a healer coming to your house tonight, and his name is Jesus of Nazareth. So, I'll make sure I'm somewhere else, I guess. The Biblical Seed Harvest Blessing Plan is working, says them. Oh, and here's a testimonial from Sister AJ. Uh, Dear St. Matthew's Churches, and it's got St. Matthew's Churches in brackets, so I guess she probably said the name of someone. I must say that from time to time that I wrote you and you started praying for me, I began to receive blessings. When I received my seed harvest in brackets plan, about a month later, I was blessed with a check for the sum of $2,500, which was quite a surprise to me. The uplifting strength that I got has meant more to me than all the money in the world. But it only came to you because money came to you. So, anyway, I needed the money, but God's word more. Would she have thanked him if she had not received any money? No, because the proof that God's word worked for her was getting the money, you see. It all hinges on the money. See, that's the only reason these people uh, care about Yahweh and this church. Of course, then again, these quotes could be s completely made up. I was about to say simply made up, that's what that was, but uh, I decided to say completely. Uh, another one, Dear St. Matthews, I requested a prayer a few days ago for my mother, who is sick. I had to fly here to be at her bedside. And when I got here 12 days ago today, 12 days ago today, I'm not sure why you put it that way, but whatever. People are weird. I thought she was not going to be living the next day. This is all in caps. But in two days after I got here, she began to change for the better. Dot, dot, dot. Everyone who comes to see her knows God can and will hear our prayers. They don't know it. They think it. They believe it. Anyway, they can't hear me. I requested prayer for me and my family, in caps, that voice means. My husband is fine. I am doing fine. God sure is blessing me and my family since I joined the Biblical Seed Harvest, in brackets, plan. I was called a few days ago. My husband told me I had gotten seven back time payment checks, <clears throat> and he had gotten two checks. We weren't looking for... Oh, I'm reading this funny. And he had gotten two checks, comma, that's why I'm reading it funny. We weren't looking for in five or six months. He got two in three weeks. Keep on praying for me and my family and also for my mother, Mrs. MMI. There's another one of these, but I'm tired of reading these. So, uh, basically, they are doing a lot of what Peter Popoff does. They're saying if you do the thing that we want you to do, uh, if you follow our plan, you will get money. Magically. Not from us, of course. Uh, let's see. Please do not open this purple sealed word until after sunset tomorrow. Oh, here it is. The purple sealed word. Uh, enclosed is your blessed cross. Oh, oh! This is the blessed cross that I ordered a while ago. I made a video about this, remember? You watched it, right? you watch my video? I hope you did. Um, here we go. Oh, it seems to be metal. It's quite heavy. Here it is. My blessed cross. Or blessed cross. 
I think blessed is like, oops, one step above blessed. So I'm gonna say it's my blessed cross. And I think I'll probably keep it, no, 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 I guess I won't keep it stuck to this paper. And then on the back it says grace and faith, like a, like a crossword puzzle. So it's my crossword puzzle cross. <laughs> oh, that's clever, not really. There we go. Um, I wasn't supposed to open that yet, so don't tell him, don't tell Jesus that I opened it already. He won't know. He won't. Dear Jesus, there's so many homes that need thy divine help. I think it's thine divine help. Divine help? Uh, I'm no expert on Old English, but whatever. So many write to us as your church requesting prayer. So this morning, I pray for... Oh, this is... I. I would have to yell to say this right, but I don't want to really yell because people are downstairs and they're going to wonder what's going on up here. So, um, I'm just going to read this in my normal caps lock voice. I pray for this home right now as this dear one holds this prayer in their hands. Um, there's a prayer in here. There's this thing. There's this thing right here. Um, See, it's a picture of a bunch of holy stuff happening. So, awesome. Picture of holy stuff. Letters praising God for answering prayers after writing to this church. You see, it's all about writing to this church. It's not about your faith. It's about St. Matthew's Church and their special deal they got going on with Jesus. It's very special. Okay, well, I'm going to stop with this thing. Oh, wait. Oh, what's all this? Oh, look at this. Look at this. They really are um, just a bunch of Peter Popoffs. Um, right here is a piece of paper. Let me cover up my uh, address. If you've seen some of my other Peter Popoff videos, you will recognize this as what it looks like when he begs for money. Um, I placed this purple sealed word under my pillow, unopened. No, I didn't. Um, I slept near this purple ribbon of blessing, just like the children of Israel did when God blah -de blah -de blah No, I didn't. Here is this my prayer page for you to pray uh, over on my behalf. I shall open this purple sealed word later, after I have mailed back this page. I'm not going to mail back this page. This is what is pressuring me at this time, and what I need God to change what you need yourself to change, really. Anyway, I am sowing blank dollars as my sacrificial seed donation unto the Lord in faith. Anytime these churches mention seed, uh, they're not talking about sperm, they're talking about money that you give to them, and then they promise that someone else will give you money. That's how it works. Although I'm sure that if you're the right age, you can get sperm from them too if you want to. Or if you don't want to, just stay away from them. Okay, um, anyway, that was some humor. Enclosed is my biblical seed har harvest donation of blank dollars unto God's work by faith. So they got two different blanks here of, um, I guess, separate donations they want you to make to them. And then, please make any necessary changes to your name and address here, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there we go. So, they are indeed asking for money. Uh, I'm not sure if they're saying that you have to donate money in order for it to work. I'd have to really read this, and I never do that. I collect these things, but I don't look at them that carefully. Um, so that's that. Uh, pretty cool here. I mean, it's a little metal piece of metal, and it was free, so... Cool, I didn't, I didn't spend a penny on any of this, if you're this far into the video. Um, so it's... Getting this little cross thing was not... It was not me getting scammed. Uh, we're about 14 minutes, 14 and a half minutes in, but I have to show you this too. I might make some separate videos reading this. It is... The seed principle. Remember what I just said about seed? Not meaning sperm, meaning money. Um, yeah. Th it seems to suggest that this whole thing is about um, what will happen to you 
if you give money to St. Matthew's Church. Yeah, this is this is from St. Matthew's Church. You can see right there, St. Matthew's Churches. So I'm all about St. Matthew's Church these days. They're my new friend. And it's got all these uh, pictures and words and more pictures and more words and hey there's even pictures and words in it so yeah it, it uh, when I just sort of skim through it I see a lot of stuff about harvest and seed and gifts and all this stuff here's a picture of some hay whoops wrong way hay 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 anyway faith instructions I don't know. Um, another idea that I've been toying with is a long series. This is why I've been uh, uh, thinking about this and not sure if I'm going to do it. But a long series where I basically read the Bible. And I suppose uh, make little notes here and there as I read, you know, say funny things about the things that I'm reading. So if that sounds like something you guys would watch, I will do it. So let me know if that sounds like a cool idea. Um, and just going chapter by chapter, Genesis 1. And I would just read the whole chapter. Um, yeah, well, let me know if you think that's a, a fun idea. I would not use the King James Version. I would probably use the New International. It's a little bit easier to understand what the heck they're talking about. Um, there we go. That's, those are my goodies for today. I haven't gotten anything back, anything from Peter Popoff lately. Um, I hope he's doing okay. I hope he hasn't forgotten about me. I hope he hasn't forsaken me. Peter Popoff, why have you forsaken me? Um, that's it. That's all I've got. So I will see you later.